everyone, this is Joanna. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Christmas tree with Dollar Tree items for around $2. And also I picked up some gnomes from the 99 cent store and I'm giving them a makeover and they came out awesome. So with that being said, let's get started. So basically I picked up one of those Dollar Tree garland, silver garland uh, trees and I'm removing the garland so we just have a skeleton that we're going to be working with. Now I'm going to wrap it in aluminum foil and the only reason why I'm doing that is uh, so that um, the light that I'm, lights that I'm going to attach to the top are going to reflect a little bit better and are going to be even lighter than they would have been otherwise. So. Once you have that covered, grab uh, some lights from the Dollar Tree and start attaching them to the tree. So basically I just started wrapping them around and I added tape as needed to make sure that they really are sticking to it. So um, if you have longer strands, I think that would have been even better or maybe two strands would work even better. I'm just using the one strand because that's all I had on hand and the little pack, a battery pack, I am going to tape it to the inside of the Christmas tree so you're not going to be able to see it. So now that the lights are all nicely done, I picked up some fake snow and it comes in sheets and this one actually has a glitter in it so it's just absolutely perfect. So I'm just attaching, attaching a snow to it, you want to tear it or cut it or whatever, you know, however you want to attach it um, to your Christmas tree you don't have to cut it if you don't want to it just comes it just tears apart and i'm using glue gun to attach it to the aluminum foil now it's all about shaping it you want to make sure that you shape it nicely and off we go to the greenery see i told you that this was such a quick project and now i'm just putting the greenery in and it actually sticks in it <laughs> <laughs> once once you put it in it's not falling out so it's absolutely perfect now do you remember this garland with the pine cones I hope you guys were able to get that garland it's the cutest thing in the Dollar Tree this season I just took the pine cones off and I'm attached I'm gluing them actually to the snow and it's just it's coming together really really nice and you can leave it as is you don't have to do anything else to it I ended up putting a little bit more greenery on it than what I showed and when you light it up it just turns into this really beautiful piece that you absolutely want to keep it in your room for the holidays and let's get back to my gnomes. They were the cutest things ever. Picked them up from the 99 cent store. However, the colors did not really match my decor. So I decided that I'm just gonna give them a nice spray with white paint so that way we have blank canvas to, to work with. Now after spraying with uh, with the clay, I, I'm sorry, with the <laughs> spray, I, um, covered them completely in uh, painter's tape leaving only the hat and the boots and the one on the right is going to have golden hat and boots and the one on the left is going to have bronze hat and boots and here they are once uh, they were nicely sprayed I decided to take some bronze uh, from my from uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I know it's art. Uh, I'm gonna list 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 in my description what what uh, brand this actually is. I know it's from Michaels, and I think that looked really nice once I gave it a little brush with that because the inside the design was still darker and you had that really nice glossy bronze on the outside. It came out really really nice. And now let's get back to the to the paint to the body. I 
decided that the one with the bronze hat is going to have gold jacket and boy it was not the paint was not staying on so I actually sponged it <laughs> <laughs> and it worked fine. Now this little guy, I just took some burned umber and mixed in some bronze in it just so that it was a little bit uh, glo not glossy but metallic. And I did the same thing. I did not show you that I actually ended up sponging them because it was such a pain in the butt to paint it. Now, now I'm adding, I took some uh, latte um, from uh, Craftsmart from Michaels and mixed it with some white and I did their noses and their hands. Now they're holding garlands so instead of painting the garlands I decided that I'm going to use some of the winter greenery from the Dollar Tree and they are going to be holding that greenery and I think that that was a good choice because it added a new dimension to my gnomes and it's made it really really super easy to do. So there you have it. This one looks just so cute. I just can't get over it. Now my second gnome actually was holding a reef. So I kind of have to make it look like there is a reef. So I'm going to do one piece of greenery going on top and I attach that and then you have his hands holding on to it and then I'm going to go with the bottom one. They just came out so darn adorable. I mean, I just have no words for it. And I'm so glad that I changed the colors because the colors totally go with my gold and bronze and silver holiday decor. So they are absolutely perfect. Well, look at those little guys right here. I love the design on the hat. I can't get over it. You can totally do so many different things with it and just run with it. Aren't they just so adorable? I love them. Well, guys, what do you think about them? Would you just take it and uh, make them make 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 them over, <laughs> or would you have kept them as they were because they were pretty darn cute before as well? Now. I really hope you enjoy this uh, tutorial guys, I, this was just very easy, simple DIYs, so easy to make. I hope you like them and till next time, ta-ta!